Yo. Yeah. Hey, okay. take him out. And so begins a 10 day trip to Cairns in which my dad and I attempt to complete an iron distance triathlon. The reason why we do these is to callous our minds. <laughs> in true David Goggin style. I remember way back when I made a video on what yo-yos I bring while traveling. Do you guys want to see what it looks like today? Granted, I'm not going to Cairns for a yo-yo contest. If I was going to a yo-yo contest, maybe I might pack a little bit more, but, but this is really it. Silver outlier with a coffee stain on it. Green outlier, green black rim outlier, orange black rim outlier, red black rim outlier, a hundred kitty strings, give or take, yo-yo factory bearing tool. And I've got a deviant inside my pocket. That's it. <laughs> Past Brandon would be like, oh my god, that's so light, it's, it's really all you need. But if you guys want to see what a younger Brandon would have said when he was going on a big trip with his family, um, that that's what he would, would have said. Now, I, I wanted to extend on that video a little bit. A question I always get asked is, are yo-yos allowed onto airplanes? If I put it on my carry-on, will they get confiscated? Will they get thrown away? In my experience, if you carry it on your carry-on, it's fine. There's no issues. The bearing tool, all of it, the strings. Generally, they go in without any questions asked. Things that will get confiscated, pliers. If you guys use pliers to take bearings in and out, they will get confiscated. It goes without saying, if you're like cleaning a bearing or something, don't bring like lighter fluid or methylate spirits. You might actually get kicked off and arrested. But but generally, yo-yos, bearing tools, all of that, that's fine. So I wouldn't stress too much over that. Um, but just so you guys are comfortable, I'll prove it to you. So we're gonna, when are we going to the airport? Now. Everything is outside the house right now. It's 7.51 a.m. The cab doesn't even get here till 8. The flight isn't till 11, but there you have it. It's what's like traveling with the booze. Do you guys think I'm gonna hit that double triangle before the cab arrives? We'll see. Leaving at home is my brother. He didn't want to come. How about can I see my picture on YouTube? <laughs> <laughs> well, my channel's uh, Brandon Vu, so uh, you can see it up there. Okay, I'm gonna Straight I'm gonna to take it from you. <laughs> <laughs> That's the Opera House. That's the Harbour Bridge. So the flight's at 11, we're here at 8.42 a.m. Some would say that's a little excessively early. No, like, not. If you travel with me, you have to allow to go to the airport three hours early. Okay. Thank, thank you, thank you. Right. World's best thank driver, you. right thank here. You. Thank you. <laughs> oh, that you came for? Uh, Iron Man. <laughs> oh, you can not yeah. They have, they have a lot of the Iron Man up here. <laughs> they do a lot of the competition. Now, time to check on the rest of the carry-on luggage. Let's hope the yo-yos get through. I'm pretty sure they will. Yeah. You have spray cans or aerosol cans in your bag? Take them out. The biggie, got it. Oh, you got two. I got two because you said you want two, right? Oh, yeah. I only got one. You're ready to go to sleep. Oh. Alright, back to this trick I'm working on. That part's cool, right? But there's a part where if you somehow land this heart can become a tower. Like that. I'm gonna try and land that. That's 
close as it's gonna get. <sighs> That was easy. There are the bikes. All right, everybody, welcome to Cannes. pretty tired right now. Any last things you guys want to say to the camera? We're gonna make it. All right, that's the end of today's vlog. Take a little holiday. Don't worry, we won't be that long.